hello there my lovely heartbeats welcome back to another video here on my channel so this is vlogmas day two thanks for being here with me and before we get into this video let me introduce to you my cute little santa bear here he doesn't have a name i just call him my santa bear he only comes out for a month out of the year as you can see he is from 1986 so this bear is very prized he only gets to come out for about 25 30 days out of the year and then he gets put back into a plastic um, bag and puts up with all of the Christmas decorations he also has a brother which is the um, the aviator um, Santa bear from I think he is from 1988 I believe so I'll show him later in another video, but he, they are too cute. And I just thought he was so adorable that I had to share them with you guys. So, and since he was, you know, what we do in vlogmas, he had to fit the Christmas theme. So now that we've seen him, we don't get him out of the way because we don't want no fluffies. We don't want no fluffies on the new baby girl. Okay. So, you guys, how is your, are you doing any Christmas planning? What's going on? And I don't want you to see that. I hope you didn't see it. I hope you didn't see it. It's supposed to be a surprise. It's supposed to be a surprise, you guys. So, let's get into this. Let's get into this blanket. I got this baby the other night, so I did get a chance to look at her, but it was at night time. And I should have waited, but I, of course, you'd be so excited. You would get a new baby. And so I couldn't wait, and I wanted to see it. So um, I opened it up, but I really didn't get a chance to, you know, take a good, good look at it. To this this is um a full body silicone baby so let's see oh wow let's cover this up that might be too big i don't want y'all to see it is something pink at least well i'm looking for something pink i can't find nothing pink all of the boy stuff here on top. Okay. We YouTube it all of their madness. Look with all they madness, girl. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. Okay. So let's show you this body before we get into that face. Okay. So this little one here is a full body silicone pour in a soft premium blend of this artist's own silicone blend and um at first when i got it i um like i said i really didn't get a chance to look at it but i did well i looked at it but i didn't get a chance to see it in the light i seen it just in my living room at nighttime under the light of the tv um and i was feeling it and i was saying how extremely sticky it was i was like it's really super super soft but i was like it's extremely sticky and i had spoke to another um one of our sisters in the community someone who's very well known and i trust um she's been in the community way longer than me and i you know trust her um I trust her when it comes to, you know, the silicones and advice that she may have or give. And she was like, that's really good. The stickier, the better. And I was like, oh, yeah. And she was just telling me, you know, some of the um, tips and tricks that some of the artists send their babies home and they're not um, at, to keep them from being as sticky. But she was like, that's not a bad sign at all, that that is a very good sign. But I can tell from... Um, I'm still very new to collecting, but I do have a silicone in my collection, and I've purchased silicones from um, a few different artists now, so I've got to experience it, and from going to dial shows, I've gotten to experience other um, silicone pours from different artists and from 
um, different manufacturers. But, um, so this does, I knew that it felt really nice, but I was worried about the tacky, the stickiness of it. But, um, she was like, that's nothing to worry about. But the pour is really good. There's no, um, there's no seams that I can see on this baby. It looks really good. I don't see, I like the fact that the creases, let me see what you can see. I like the fact that the creases are really dark. Let me move her over. I mean, they're not really dark. They're really deep. I like that the creases are really deep. Let me get into this baby. Yeah. I like the fact that the creases are very deep. And I don't know why it got so dark real quick. Yeah, we still recording. Um, but the pour is really nice. I'm I'm liking the deep creases in that she has. Um, she is a full body baby girl. I can't show you her little private parts, but this is her little navel. She has a little Audi, which is really cute. Really, really cute. I'm loving the deep creases um, behind her little thighs. There, she has the cutest little feet they're nice they're kind of small but i guess they're nice size for a preemie baby but i love the little wrinkles around her ankles and around the toes here i'm loving those little wrinkles there and um she has nice toenail beards i'm a <laughs> y'all know me i'm a um, nail bed freak so really nice has a toenail on each toe so <laughs> i'm loving that um nail beds are really nice i love a nice nail bed the hands are nice and detailed really nice the body um well i guess what can we expect from a body but it's okay but this face you guys when i tell you i fell in love with this face it's all right here <gasps> Yes, it's like you open up that blanket and you hear heaven's gates open up like, oh, like that. <laughs> and then look at this. Look how easy. Look how easy that hit all the way to the side. Look how easy that. Who? It's slipping turn all the way to the side and it holds the shape. It holds it so good. Now, the neck does wrinkle, but that's about the only part of her body that wrinkle, y'all. I'm so mad at that. See? Her little stomach don't got no... It don't... It don't wrinkle. You know? Just get pudgy, but it don't wrinkle. But look at this face. She is gorgeous. Head shape is beautiful. Oh, she's so sticky. Head shape is beautiful. That mouth is very expressive. She has an open mouth so that she can take a pacifier. You know how I am about them ears. She got a deep ear canal. It's deep, but the ridge of her ear is really thin, so that I'll have to make sure um, whoever gets her, the mommy, I'll have to tell them. You have to be really careful with those ears. Because it came out really thin around the ridge of the ear. But that is absolutely fine. It is so detailed, deep, and beautiful. I love that ear. Then look at this button nose. That is like, that's like the definition of a button nose. That is like, can you see that? That's like the definition of a button nose. And she has an open mouth and gums. Can you see that? Gums and since I got her up let's look at her backside because I didn't even get a chance to see her backside oh my goodness look at her she has her name the sculptor's name is embedded in her flat well not her flesh in her silicone <laughs> it's embedded in her silicone okay I see the um I see the seam there but it doesn't look bad at all it doesn't look bad at all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but a silicone artist will be able to see it on the 
with blank vinyl. So this is, and then you see her, her neck wrinkling up? You see that? I wish the rest of her body did that, but it don't. Only her neck. Aww. Aww. Only her neck, so. But it is okay. She is just as lovely anyway, anyhow. It's time to see so you can see her face. Say turn so I, they can see my face at least. A little bit of my face. So I told you I love, at least got to have one open hand, one closed hand. I'm loving that. This is her backside here. Little, <laughs> little booty. <laughs> little booty fall flat. She ain't even got no booty. Booty, <laughs> booty about two inches by four. But she got a two by four. Literally, a two by four. <laughs> um, so yeah. Like I said, the body sculpting, it's, it's okay. It could have been a little better. It fall flat. But that she has some features within the sculpting that makes it balance out. You know, like she has tiny feet. But the detail in the ankle and in the toes and in the nail beds, it kind of make up for it. The leg detail falls kind of flat. But the deep creasing that is there and where she put it, you can really add emphasis on it. So, um, that's really good. The, the pour is just excellent. As you can see, this baby is gone. Pose so nice. She's going to be able to, she's going to be able to suck her thumb really nice. And she came with, um, before I tell you what she came with, let me tell you who she is. So she is the An Annaline sculpt by Mesa said so she was molded by um, Maria Glover, Grover and um, that's Mesa said so she has a girl and a boy version of this it's the Annaline and the Andrew so and I hear that Andrew is really really nice too so this this is them two together they share the same um, the same face and same limbs you know he just has boy parts but um, they're 17 and a half inches, the full body silicone poured in her um, super soft silicone blend, Mesa, um, Maria Grover's silicone blend. But um, Mesa said, sculpted Little Miss Annaline and Andrew. And she did a beautiful job. This baby is very cute. She'll be able to suck her little thumb. Suck her little thumb. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's see, they should be here. Um, So I forget who, I'm not sure if she said um, Maria. Um, Maria Grover had made these little pacifiers specifically for the Andrews and the An um, Annalines. Their nook pacifiers. But she modified them specifically with um, a silicone blend, if you can see that. They're a little smaller, and the shape is a little different. It's cut shorter. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I got a pink one and a blue one. Because even though she does... Um, she does have girl parts, you know, a lot of times we don't even use that part of them, you know, it doesn't matter what sex the baby is, or sometimes we change in the sex of our babies, or, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, um, I even know some artists that when the baby's belly plates come anatomically correct, they even cut them off, you know, because we really don't have a need for that, um, especially on a lot of the reborn dolls, but anyway, anyway. So, um, I didn't know if maybe the mommy wanted it to come home as a boy or a girl. And sometimes we do like to see our babies in blue anyway. So, it is a beautiful white nook pacifier that has been modified specifically for the Annalines and the Andrews. And that pacifier sits very good on her face and in her mouth. It fits very good. Fits very good. 
<laughs> she's so sweet. That baby is so cute. Jeez Louise, she's so cute. <clears throat> I got a bad problem of leaving y'all zoomed all the way in. So, yes. She's so cute, and I love these little pacifiers. So, there she is with the little pink one. And then here she is with the little blue one. If you were thinking about getting you an Andrew, you can kind of see what he would look like. We covered that little pink up. So cute, even still. Okay. So, there she is. This is just another one of the new faces that I have in the nursery during our Vlogmas Christmas special. Thanks for joining me. If you stuck around to the end, tell me what do you want for Christmas? Or what did you ask for for Christmas? What are you expecting for Christmas? Or even if you're going to buy yourself something for Christmas. If you stay to the end, let me know what are you what do you want for Christmas? Um, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And let me know what you think about this little baby girl. Um, so I will be painting her, but she probably will not be done until after the 1st of 2021. Because I will be rooting her, painting and rooting her myself. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you another new face to the nursery. Thanks so very much. Happy Vlogmas. See you in the next video. Bye.